So last year, I experienced something that not many people had the opportunity to do, and some have died trying. <laughs> Armed with two 35-foot motorized mat rafts, myself and 27 other people with four amazing guides rafted down 187 miles of the Grand Canyon. This trip by far surpassed any trip that I've ever been on. All of my senses were heightened, and I realized some common concepts that I often take for granted. Many see the Grand Canyon from the top down, and yes, it is beautiful, but it is even more majestic inside the canyon. The different hues of rocks, the valleys, the waterfalls, the variations of plants, flowers, and cacti. Every mile of the Grand Canyon is different than the last. At night, the stars are some of the brightest I've ever seen. We were thousands of miles away from electricity, internet, and running water. And you know what? It was okay. I realized that we didn't need those things. And without having any of those things, we were able to appreciate what was right in front of us. The best part is there were no distractions to keep me from experiencing it. In the canyon, I realized that I don't always have to be in control and do everything on my own. The company that we rafted with provided all of our gear. All we needed was clothing and toiletries. But that's a lot of stuff for 32 people. It was crucial that we work together to load and unload the raft every day. We had some difficulties in the beginning, but by the end we were so efficient that we could unload or load that raft in 30 minutes or less. We realized that if we worked together, we could more quickly go explore and do more fun things. In the canyon, you eat, sleep, bathe, and even go to the bathroom out in the beautiful open air. <laughs> The bathroom and sleeping situations were two of the hardest things I had to overcome while out there. You can only imagine the bathroom situation, so I'm not even gonna get into that. <laughs> but the sleeping situation, on the other hand, was its own hurdle. So think about it. It's 100 degrees out, there are little bugs crawling all over you, and you are trying to sleep on top of a sleeping bag on a cot out in the open. Once you get past the heat and the bugs, you realize there are 30 other people around you trying to sleep. They are snoring, they're breathing heavy, they're making all kinds of weird sounds. <laughs> I realized they were just as uncomfortable as me. So who cares? Be yourself and forget about everyone else. Oh, and how can I forget the best part? The rapids. The rapids in the Grand Canyon are scored a little differently than rapids everywhere else. They're scored on a level from one to 10, and it's all based on elevation and volume of water. On the last full day of our rafting trip, we rafted down Lava Falls, which is a level 10 rapid. As we reached the rim of the rapid, our guide yelled, hold on, which of course was my cue at that point to brace yourself and bunker down for dear life. As we were thrown all over the place, I realized that you have to hold on for dear life sometimes in order to make it through the bumps in the road, or river in my case. Rafting down the Grand Canyon was one of the best experiences of my life. I'm not telling everyone to go book their next vacation to the Grand Canyon right now, but I wouldn't stop you if you did. But I do want you to think about this. Every day we do things that incorporate these basic ideals. Don't wait until you're hit straight in the face with a huge rapid to realize it. So pay attention to what's going on around you. Work together with your family, friends, and coworkers. And be yourself. Hold on tightly or those things will pass you by before you even know it. Thank you.